and welcome to another episode of Get to Know UIC, Get to Know United in Christ. Uh, today, I have the joy of being joined by Annette and Mike. Uh, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to come and hang out with us today. Thank, thank you. you. Absolutely. I like that. I, I feel like our production quality has increased anytime I get to spend some recording time with the two of you because you've always got the green screen in the background. I can really make that whatever I want uh, within these videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, I know, Mike, you've been using that to make sure that folks know you've been on the beach a couple of times in our Zoom yeah. calls lately. That's very good. That's very good. Uh, because uh, thank you, really, for, for uh, coming and hanging out with us. Uh, but for folks who maybe haven't gotten the chance to know you uh, within the congregation or or maybe who are just still, you know, curious, how, how long has it been for the two of you? How long have you guys been connected with United in Christ? Uh, I've been 56 years. So since I was born, there you I was go. born Absolutely. into the church. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's kind of uh, those born and bred uh, St. John's United in Christ Lutherans, right? Uh, that kind of comes. I think that's just a given when I hear the Baker name in our area. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, oh, no. uh, so, Annette, oh, if, if Mike's been connected for 56 years, then what, what, when did you come along? When did you arrive on the scene? Well, without doing the math uh, in my head here, <laughs> it was 1982 when wow. we met. Wow, 1982. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So I'll, I'll do the math real quick. That's 38 years right there. That's a long time. That's a long time, isn't it? <laughs> and and what was it like for you? I, I mean, we, we've had a number of folks who, who, for whom this is the narrative, right? Where where my member was kind of born and raised in the congregation as as Mike was, right? Um, and then and then their spouse came along and and then joined the congregation. And I'm always curious as about what that's like for for I, I call the marital transplants, right? What is that experience like? So what was that like for you uh, to come in and, and and be joined along this this known entity in the congregation and and to find yourself among this community? Can you remember 38 years ago that far back? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some things I can remember vividly. <laughs> Yesterday may be a blur. That so for sure. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is anymore. And that's so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, gosh, well, I have no clue what yesterday was anymore. Uh, well, it actually was very refreshing um, when I first went to St. John's okay. at the time. Okay. Um, I came from First Baptist okay. in Milton. I was born and raised a Baptist and um, was not always very fond of their teachings. Sure, sure. Uh, it, you know, it was fire brimstone. Um, you know, you were not assured a place in heaven, of course. Um, you know, it wasn't just uh, because you... Um, how does that saying go? Because you are, I forget, <laughs> but, but, um, just believing was yeah. not enough, yeah. you know? Um, so it, it was very refreshing and I liked the liturgy, the people were all friendly. Yeah. Um, it was just upbeat. Cool. It, it made me feel good yeah. when I left church. Absolutely. I'm, I'm glad to hear you found that amongst us. I'm glad, you know, it's not often I get to hear the word refreshing used as the adjective. Yeah. I like Oh, that. I just thought of what it was. By grace, you have been saved. There you go. Yeah. That was not part of the sure. church teaching. Sure. No. Absolutely. And that's so, that's so critical and crucial and central to who we are as Lutherans, right? Like exactly. that's our central conviction right there. Uh, that's very cool. I'm glad you found that in this community then. Uh, and, and I like that. Well, well, maybe we'll get into this a little more later, but I like that you like found that value and that refreshing nature in the liturgy of all places. Cause I, I know there are some folks who think that, you know, these high liturgy places as Lutherans are sometimes accused of being, uh, some people find that a turnoff, especially when you've got some, you know, kind of more free form worship places in, in our area. I'm glad that you found that that practice uh, to be a refreshing one. That's super oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm like Garrett because I like high church. So. <laughs> now we see where he gets it from. That's it. That must be it. Absolutely. So, so, but obviously, so it's been a while, right? I mean, 56, 38 years, that's, that's nothing to sneeze at in terms of being engaged with the life of this congregation. Uh, and to put in four and five decades worth of life into a community, clearly there must be something about this community then, right? Right. Clearly, there, there must be something that makes you want 
to continue being a part of it. So, so what is that for the two of you? What makes you want to keep returning to United in Christ, to engage in the life of this community, to quite literally in many ways invest in the life of this community? What is it about United in Christ that makes you keep coming back? Go ahead. Not me, I'm going to say change. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to really say that, I mean, through this, I'm going to, through the 56 years, maybe it was within the last 20. Yeah. But I think the change within the churches and the stuff that the church has went through. Sure. Some of it wasn't always the best, but the positive has come out of that. Sure. And I, you know, so, I mean, I can look back spending years on council, different things like yeah. being a part of council as a youth wondering before why the two churches couldn't get along and come together. Yeah. You know, that that isn't how God intended it to. And then lo and behold, you know, like we go to Mountaindale, the two churches were on the verge of possibly doing splitting, you know, whatever mm. at the time. Uh, or coming together, and that's when we decided, hey, you know, we need to come together. Why can't we join? And yeah. I about fell off the the chair, and I'm among the, we are surprised that that's what, and happy that that's what it came to, cool. you know. And then I think it set that in motion, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, the churches, the roof blowing off, the churches, New Columbia had the lightning strike, so I think there was a something. Well, I know there was, we were being drawn together. <laughs> Yeah. To form what we are today. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, and I've heard this narrative uh, from so many folks and in so many ways that it, that by all measures, United in Christ has been through some some real sense of trauma. Right. There have been some really kind of traumatic experiences in, in our history and in our past, uh, both, you know, just from physical acts of God, what it seems like to just to, to more interpersonal struggles along the way. Um, but all of that, all of that together has made United in Christ who it is, right? And, mm. and I often think that a lot of times, you know, those, those moments have the capacity to break a community. Uh, but instead, like those challenges for as, as heated as they were, they really became like a refiner's fire, right? And like, and, and right. United in Christ emerged from it stronger and, and in, in, sure, in a new place. And yeah, to use, it changed, right? Uh, but but not uh, not daunted, right? Willing to step into that change and, and to look at what God has in store next. I think that's super cool. Mm -hmm. and, and to value that enough to be the reason why you keep coming back, like that's that's pretty neat, right? To, to see what's gonna come next, to see that change unfold. That's That's very cool, Mike. How about for you, Annette? What is it? What is it that makes you want to 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 keep returning to this place? Um, I I think the the community as mm. a whole. Um, I I really value that. I've made some close friends, yeah. not just church friends, but sure. some close friends out of this, and um, just the caring, the caring attitude that everyone has for one another, yeah. and willingness to come together, and just. Yeah, I just that's what it is for me. No, absolutely. So. And, and like that's it's as easy as that, right? Like that that like it's such a simple solution yet. Like it's it's remarkable how how noteworthy it is uh, that like it's just a good sense of community. It's just knowing that like there's a there's a group of folks here who are looking out for you and who are going to be here for you. And, and mm -hmm. like as simple as it is, it's pretty radical, isn't it? Uh, yeah. and, and very cool and, and worth coming back for. Ah. Ah, oh, what good answers. Thank you. Uh, this is very, very cool. I said there's no wrong answers, but those are pretty good oh, answers, yeah. though. So don't sweat. <laughs> but so in your experience over the years, then, as you look at this place and you look at this community and the, and the ways it's changed and the way it's it's formed this identity as community, where where have you seen, where, where do you see God at work among this this community of faith? Where do you see God kind of um, stirring things up, being present? You know, what what is it about ministry at United Christ that excites you? What what opportunities are presented through this congregation that you think like, yeah, that that's kind of a God sign? What is it that what, where do you see God at work? Hmm. I'm going to say the um, and I think that's where the change is, the acceptance. Mm of what has come along over the years yeah um you know the openness um i think you know through our personal life through garrett sure. some of that stuff i think that opened our our you know our eyes a little more too yeah. i think you know this church like i said i think through over the years 
the acceptance of the change. It hasn't always, like you said, it hasn't always been easy sure, to change. Sure. But I think that acceptance of people, mm. you know, and learning even today, some of the people and then finding out that, you know, they are more accepting than what you originally thought they would be. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and not that there's still not challenges there, but I think for the most part, I think that accepting of change, you know, is the, or the, of, of the people, you know, that acceptance. And, and yeah, and I think that's so important. And I, and I love the way you, you phrase that because it, there's something about this place that, that when we encounter others in our space and, and when we think about others, and I use that term, you know, with, with the air quotes, right? When we think about others, yeah. I think this community has a remarkable way of, of remembering that we're talking about people first, right? And, and that's the way you, you phrased it there by remembering that these are people, right? And, mm -hmm. and that when we meet these people, people well yeah we're going to meet them with the, the dignity god has for them right uh, and and to meet them for who they are and who god has created them to be and and whom god has called them to be because that's what god has called us to do too right mm -hmm. uh and i think that's really really cool it's it's very much a community that is people first right and 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 greeting them with the love god has for them as we as we come to know uh i think that's super cool neat Neat, neat, neat. And, and yeah, I totally think God's at work through the midst of that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. How about how about for you, Annette? Is, is it same or are you, where else do you see kind of God uh, at work through this community? Well, for me personally, and, and it seems like a small thing and there's just a very few of us, but um, I actually see him at work when we do home communion. Yeah. Um, that's just... I, I can't put it into words. Yeah. You know, some, sometimes after, if I've been at the office and, and putting in a long day, I think, oh my gosh, now I have another hour and a half or two and you get there and it, it is just so fulfilling, Absolutely. you know, to, to see the smile on, on the person's face and, and to know that you're doing a ministry, you know, yeah. that, that just for me is the best. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's kind of a sacred moment, isn't it? You know, to be it present is. in the living room with someone and you're both, you're on the couch, they're on the recliner, they're on the couch, yeah. you're at the kitchen table, wherever it is, right? Yeah. Just to be gathered yeah. around that and reminded that we're still gathered around the same table. That really becomes a sacred space. Uh, and yeah, I got to figure God's at the, in the work in the midst of that, right? Uh, and, and I'm with you there. That, those moments bring such joy to me. And, and you're right. I, I, I think there's something really valuable in the way you phrased it, too, because there are some times where it's like, <laughs> got to go get that visit in tonight. Got to go do that yeah. visit. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, jeez. OK. But then you get there and, and it turns yeah. out to just be this holy experience. Uh, right. just it, yeah. oh, it's powerful what and what yeah. hey what a good plug too if you want to be a part of that team you just come talk to us right exactly. if you want to be a part of the home communion team and have an experience like none other ah oh, it, it's so worth it absolutely plus the one perk kathy and i get to go out for dinner <laughs> that's right that's right yeah you get to as if you work it as a team you can schedule it around however you'd like and that and kathy just happen to always make a good sometimes meal they ask me to come along <laughs> <laughs> How gracious of them, huh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's so cool. That's very, very cool. So, so clearly, there's, there's clearly there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of cool and engaging ways, and, and there's remarkable ways that God continues to be at work in this community. Uh, but, but where have you experienced that for yourselves? What, what has been uh, a part of this community meant to you over the years? Where have you felt the the value of this community really hit home for you uh, in your own lives together? Hmm. This is the big personal question. I always got to stall. By, I always got to stall know. for folks a little bit when I get to this one's word. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm really answering your question or not. Hey, but, you but can I'm answer just, whatever question you want. Really. I, I'm just going to go with what yeah, is in my head your gut, right now. Your gut. So, you know, there had been points in in our married life here at United in Christ that we're rocky, sure. um, you know, between Mike and I in the church yeah. and we've actually grown stronger yeah. because of that. Um, you know, everyone is always, um, there for you, yeah. willing to accept you, you know, you, you may have strayed 
so to speak. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, there, it, it just, I don't know. There was always something that brought us back. Yeah. Brought us back to United in Christ. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and you never felt like you were being looked at like, Oh, well, what are you doing here? And right, you know, right. Why would you want to come back here? So yeah. I, I don't know. That's, that's just my, no, 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 that that's spot on. And, and cause that's where it hits home for us. Right. Is, is not only do we talk about and find value in that acceptance, but until we feel it for ourselves, right. Until we feel what the radical sense of acceptance really means, it's tough for us to imagine it. So once you've had that experience, like that grounds you for so much else. And I can only mm -hmm. imagine like how personal that hits. Right. We've, and we've heard that from some others in the course of these videos of, of, of folks who, you know, maybe spent some time away from the congregation, but when they came back, like, like it was not with any like down your nose looks from those around you. It wasn't with any sense of judgment. It was just, it was people first. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, yeah, w w to be met in all of those challenges and in all of those struggles and yet to still have this community that's going to stand with you and meet you where you are. Uh, it's a remarkable. And again, it's, it's kind of a holy thing, isn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. And that that space too becomes sacred in the midst of it. Uh, that's mm -hmm. so cool. That's very very cool. How, uh, Mike, is it similar or? Are you... Well, yeah, and I think I think I, I, this goes is I think one of the things that I've really cherished for probably the last ten years or more, the new people coming in, mm. and you know the acceptance and because uh, at one time you know and I just. It was the same people doing this, the same people, and it was quite sure, you know, sure, you know. So now you have the new the people coming in and letting them do their each each. Everybody has yeah. their own little niche, yeah, of a type thing, and go go with it, yeah. You know, and so, um, you know, I'm just gonna say, you know, Charlie was on yesterday, yeah. Charlie and Sue, and bringing their talents in. Yes, nobody has. You know, hey Charlie, get off. We, you know, you're welcome, Charlie. And oh hey, yeah, please. Yeah. Do your, do Don't your take thing. that as a sound bite. Nobody clip that part of Mike out. Charlie, stay. Charlie, we need you <laughs> in a big way. Don't take yeah. that sound bite yeah. and out of context. <laughs> I mean, you know, you. So I think that acceptance of letting yeah. people yeah. come in and do that, and I think that's. I mean, that's where, you know, each one having it. It also relieves the people that were doing stuff. All the time, right? You know, the right. same people. Yeah. So, and and I'm so glad to hear you say that because so uh, and again, this is a, a, a fun part for, of all of this is you know Charlie was on the call committee and a few weeks ago we heard from Michelle and she'd been on the call committee. Mike, you were on the you were the you were the chair of the call committee. Uh, <laughs> that that you were like my point person in the midst of the call process. Uh, so I blame you. Uh, no, just, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but I remember this coming up and even during the call process uh, of one of the challenges that you as a committee articulated to me was that there was a sense that like we were on the verge of burnout because all of our volunteers were doing a, a few number of volunteers were doing so much of the work right mm -hmm. um and that there was a real fear in leadership now, i don't want to say fear as in like we were scared out of our minds about it but like there was a challenge that the leadership right. could articulate that that if if we didn't find a way to kind of share in this this calling together folks were going to burn out and it was out of an earnest like concern for people's well-being right mm -hmm. uh and so i'm glad to hear that like we are now finding that value in sharing those responsibilities and yeah welcoming new energy uh and and setting them loose in so many ways <laughs> like and 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 now dreaming and envisioning whole new things together right mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and that's so cool so i'm i'm very glad to hear you say that that that's that's something that we are finding value in in the midst of this mm -hmm. yeah absolutely so so then so then as you think ahead now um as you think about w what to do with that energy and these newfound resources and this is acceptance you know where where do you feel uh or where do you hope or where do you dream that god is calling this community next right where where do you hope god will continue to stir among this community uh as god calls us towards god's future uh together at united in christ do you want to go you want no, to go ahead well i mean <laughs> I, I mean, this is always a dream that I've had ever since is just growing, Yeah. you know, and growing and keep that we don't stay stagnant Yes. or we don't yes. in that point that we keep, you know, accepting, changing with what we have to do to draw in that we aren't that old church up on the hill, you know, and I think 
that's, I think we, we do that. And I think that's, I mean, and so I think those changes constantly are going to come or yeah. we are going to, and I think those acceptance, you know, it may not be what we always like, but then again, you know, I can look back and I, and I refer to my father saying, yeah, you know, I've already, I know where I'm at. So this is the future, right? You know, right. this is the future to go on and you guys are the church, not that I'm not part of it. So I think that that we always make those changes to strive to reach out. And I think, like I said, in the community, I think not to say there's not more we can do, but we're certainly moving in the right direction, sure, I think, sure. in that and accept it. So absolutely. Um, I'm one like I've often said this for years as Lutherans with ours uh, being saved by grace through faith that why our churches aren't packed you know, as Lutherans, you know, so we, you know, um, when I hear years ago talking to one of my foe, actually he get, went, goes to the Baptist church that okay. the came from, but <laughs> his, his comment was as well, you Lutherans are all conservative and, mm. and the conservative stuff going through. And I said, well, you, you would, you go more like in the Catholic, what we sure. think we are the Catholic, in terms of liturgy just, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's just more or less the liturgy, but right. the belief aspect, it's not that way. Yeah. It, it is so, it, in, in such, so many ways, you know, it, that, that simple declaration, you know, that we are saved by grace through faith, that this is God's doing and not our own. Uh, you know, even Martin Luther himself says, I cannot by my own strength or understanding come to fully believe, right? Like this is this third article of the, of the creed. Uh, but like that is a refreshing take in and of itself, isn't it? And it is a liberating one because it frees us from having to worry about that and then become so um, inwardly focused and only worried about our own self and our own salvation that it frees us to now worry about our neighbor's well-being right here and right now, right? And that, I think that's refreshing, right? And I think that's a beautiful thing uh, and, and such a good grounding place for, for all of us, right? Uh, I think that's so cool. So yeah, I think there's a lot of cool ways we can continue to live that out, right? Uh, and I hope God continues to stir among us to to make us live that out because I, I think we could. And I think we've got a lot of room to grow in that. Uh, that's very, very cool. Awesome. Uh, well, guys, uh, this this has just been beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for taking this time. Yeah. Uh, but I give everyone a chance. So before we sign off, a everyone gets a chance. And this is, I feel like this is dangerous. Annette, you're laughing far too much for me to feel comfortable with this offer. Uh, but I do give everyone the chance to, to, to share what they'd like. You know, any words of wisdom, any uh, pleading calls, any greed, anything you want to say to the folks listening at home. Now's your chance. Do you have anything? Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I was sitting here thinking about yes. that. Well, you knew we it was coming. Talking. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I knew it was coming. And I think the one thing I want to see when we can finally all get together as a community, I want to start a pinochle club. <laughs> I... <laughs> 25 episodes of doing in this, and I think that might be the most off the wall wild card yet. Pinochle Club. You asked for you want, it. I did ask for it. You want Pinochle Club? We get you a Pinochle Club, Annette. That ain't, that's like easy. I love to play Pinochle, and I have missed it so much these past few months. And what better way to have some good, clean fun with fellow Christians? Then to sit around and argue at cards. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, sh shoot, dang. Like, if you want in on the Pinochle Club from the ground up, you message me. Or better yet, a message Annette. We're going to get you hooked up. That's easy. <laughs> Jeez Louise. We got big old round tables. We can have four that's tables true. going at the same time. You want Pinochle? We got Pinochle. I, that's All right. The, that's, that's, that's the that's easiest and I cheapest want. ministry change we could. Uh, you, you want a couple <laughs> deck of cards? Like, I could do that tomorrow. Like, I even oh, have the cards. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Please. easy easy bring it on so that's my that's annette's big <laughs> call to action is pinochle awesome thank you uh mike yeah you what, what do you want you want you want blackjack at the church or like what are you looking for bud <laughs> Uh, yeah. oh, bingo. bingo bingo too yeah, i've been meaning to invite you to oaks you, you, said, uh, you can come well i'm still oaks. working oh so. okay 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 yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. You have to have a senior citizens after dark. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Go ahead. I mean, as far as myself, I just, I mean, I get just to get back as the community. Sure. Yeah. You know, and that's just the, cause we all need that. Yep. I mean, it's, it's yep. rough. Um, I think people are going to come out of this it's, it, even though, but it's going to make them stronger too in the yeah. end yeah. And, and value what they have. Exactly. And so that's, that's the biggest thing. Uh, as, as has been the case with so many challenges at United in Christ, we, we take the challenge on uh, and we will come through it, right? And, and we're going to learn a lot from it. I, I have no doubt of that, that during this time, we are going to learn a tremendous amount about ourselves and what we value as a community. And I really do, because I've heard it in the conversations with our leadership already, I really do think it's going to, to make us rethink how we be church in, in a lot of ways. Uh, uh -huh. And I think that's going to leave us better equipped. Uh, so I, I know that it's, I know that the temptation is real because I, I, I know it every day. Like it's easy to just lament what this time is, right? It's easy to lament and mourn and grieve uh, what this, these couple of weeks have represented and what this unknown amount of future is going to be for us. And I get that. And, and, and lament definitely has its place. However, uh, if we are going to do what God calls us to do, we also take it as the challenge then too, right? To see what it is we are made of uh, and to see what it is we value and, and how those values will shape us going forward. Uh, and man, that's an opportunity that, that I'm excited to see how that plays out. Um, right. And so I'm grateful for those who are willing to come along for that ride uh, and, and to, 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 to have those conversations and think about that going forward because I think it's going to be a remarkable thing. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like yet. Uh, I'd put money on the fact that you don't either. Uh, but I think together we will find out. Uh, and I think that's going to be a very beautiful thing together. So very cool. Cool. Thank you. That's a lot. That's a lot more difficult than Pinochle. Can you change your answer, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Yahtzee. That's what I was thinking you might go with. A Baker at Bucknell.edu. <laughs> You're going to so, get so much spam email after this. I think this is the first time in a recording when we have to bleep something out. <laughs> Jeez Louise. No, let it in. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't blame me when the spam comes calling. Uh, on that note, everyone at home, thank you for tuning in. Mike and Annette, thank you for joining us. This was just an absolute blast together. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Absolutely. And uh, everyone, please, uh, God's continued peace and blessings in the days ahead. Stay safe. Uh, stay healthy where you're at. Uh, I'm looking forward to joining together in a community but in a community as a whole again so please please do uh keep it keep it up y'all uh but in the meantime thank you for tuning in mike and again thanks annette thank you again for tuning in with us this has been great uh and we'll talk to you all later take care everybody thank you bye for now bye bye